All right, so it is time for the first startup to come out. That startup is Wazer, and presenting for Wazer are Nissan Liria and Matt Nowicki. All right, let's welcome these guys to the stage. Come on. Hi, I'm Nissan Liria, co-founder of Wazer. At Wazer, we like to make things. We all met at the University of Pennsylvania, where we led an engineering club. Building custom race cars each year.、Nice. Now, there's a lot that goes into making one of these cars, but I want to talk to you about this: a simple metal bracket. Looks boring, but it actually gets welded to the frame of the car and holds a critical component in place. Now, even though this part may look simple, the process of making it is actually quite involved. You've got to trace out the shape on a sheet of metal. Drill the hole, bandsaw or grind the outer profile, and then smooth out the edges with a sander or a file. The whole process could take a few hours, and we had to make dozens of these things. <laughs> Now you might say, "Hold on, it's 2016. We have digital designs. Surely there's a device that'll cut this part out for me." It turns out it's not so simple. Let's take a look at the types of digital tools that are available for under $5,000. There are hobby laser cutters, but they only cut soft materials like wood and plastic. 3D printers are great for complex shapes, but again, only in plastic. Desktop CNC machines can cut some soft metals, but the process is tedious and requires lots of skill. If you want to cut something hard and flat, you pretty much have to do it by hand, and that's what we're solving with Wazer. It's a digital tool that uses water to cut through any material. Wazer is the first desktop water jet cutter. It cuts any material. It cuts with digital precision. It's far more accurate than cutting by hand. It's compact and contained, which makes it clean, safe, and quiet to use. And it's the result of a ground-up redesign of water cutting technology, with four separate patents pending. Now available for under $4,000. I want to show you this thing in action. Please switch to the demo. We've got, we've got Wazer all set up. Hopefully, you can see inside. We're going to be cutting out a sheet of glass. We've loaded our digital design, and all we've got to do is press cut and walk away. <laughs> Wazer cuts the part out automatically. We're cutting an intricate shape in glass that you literally cannot cut any other way. Glass is one of the most fragile and hardest materials to cut. Please switch back to the slides. Wazer cuts through any material. It cuts through aluminum. It cuts through stone. It cuts through ceramic tile. It cuts through carbon fiber,、cool. even high-end blade steel. The only thing we haven't tried yet is. Wolverine's adamantium claws. <laughs> so, how does this technology work? Water-based cutting has been around for decades on the industrial scale. Machines look like this; they cost over a hundred thousand dollars. Fundamentally, we pressurize water. We combine it with abrasive sand-like particles at high velocity. It's the same erosion process of a river carving a valley over millennia. We just do it in a matter of seconds. The parts—I would have shown parts of the machine cutting out all those tabs.、It、would have taken three days to cut by hand. Now I can send my digital design to our device, press cut, and walk away. In three hours, the job would be done. We have the slides. So, who needs Wazer? Because Wazer is so versatile and what it can cut, it's needed by lots of different types of makers. And we've partnered with a number of professionals, and we've cut amazing things over the last few months. Whether it's a jeweler designing a necklace, or a An artisan creating a custom knife blade. A homeowner redoing the bathroom, 
or a hobbyist creating a custom bicycle part. That's cool. The local makerspace can now offer cutting in norm more materials like steel and glass, and high school students will build better robots. We've got a great tool. It cuts through so many materials. We've got a great team of engineers, and we're really excited to be bringing this amazing technology to workshops everywhere. We can't wait to see all the incredible things that people make with it. Please switch back to the demo. I think we should be done with the cut by now. In under three minutes, we cut out this intricate piece of glass that you literally could not have cut any other way. Please switch back to the slides. We just launched on Kickstarter this morning. We are overwhelmed and humbled by the support. In just a few hours, we raised $350,000 in pre-sales. Please check us out. Support our campaign at Wazer.com. Thank you. All right, nice work, Wazer. All right, judges, is, is anyone going to back this Kickstarter campaign? You know, I'm excited. That's a that's big. <laughs> uh, but yeah, questions. Go ahead. Yeah, just a quick question. You said it, it's water and sand. Is there, what's the cost to refill? Is it any type of sand? You sell them the sand? What's the... Yeah, it's a um, special uh, type of sand that's used in water jet industry. It's a commodity. We'll be supplying it on our website. We'll also be available. We'll, you know, we'll be, um, you can use third party sand as well. It's cheap, I'm it's a It's a commodity. Um, and it's, yeah, it, it costs about 20 to 30 cents a pound in high volumes and will be distributed in low volumes for small customers as well. And who's like the target customer for you right now? Like, wh where do you, you know, you had a great Kickstarter. Where do you go after that? Um, so we're starting with the pre-launch crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarter. So we're f focusing on early adopters, hobbyists, makers, prosumers. Once we have machines in stock, we'll also be transitioning to small businesses, engineering and design companies, um, maker spaces, institutions, schools. It's a big market. We cut a lot of material, so it's really useful across industries. So for the weekend hobbyist and kind of weekend maker, it sounds like the $4,000 price point is still really high unless you're um, an early adopter and really into this. How are you thinking about lowering that price point over time? And what's your method to get there? And where do you think the price point will eventually land? Um, yeah, this is uh, first generation technology. You know, there's nothing like this um, anywhere close to our price point. So we definitely do want to get lower than that. But at $4,000 for early adopters, it's a great place to start. So, so first of all, I think it was pretty badass how you kept going when you lost the slides. That was really good. <laughs> um, so. Uh, I like to think about like integration in existing environments. I mean, I assume you take in like standard CAD formats and things like that. And I mean, how do you get like the, the design into the machine? And then also, what are the, the inputs that you need? I mean, you sand and water, but you, do you actually have to be hooked into plumbing or are you filling a jug somewhere? How, you know, how, how hard is it to get this integrated into my workshop? Yeah, so you have to be connected to a water source, but once you connect it um, and a drain source, you never have to touch it again. Um, so it's really a one-time setup. Um, and we'll be providing a very easy way for people to do that you know, with a variety of water setups. On the software side, um, you start out with a, um, standard drawing files. There's a couple formats that are very common. And then you import that into our software. And there's just a couple of steps that you have to go through to go from design to cutting on our machine. Jewel, it looks like you had a question. Yeah, what's your customer acquisition strategy? Like, how are you going to build the business? How are you going to attract people to it? How are you going to sell the product? Yeah, so, you know, we started with crowdfunding, which is, you know, great for this type of product. Um, once we have units in stock, we'll be able to be offering direct sales through our website. Um, we, we also can um, partner with machine tool distributors to try to get um, this technology available all over the world. 
Good. So over time, like, you know, what sometimes happens in hardware is that it's, it's the hardware itself gets commoditized, and it's more about going up the stack and trying to become more of a platform. Do you guys think about that? Do you have a strategy around uh, almost commoditizing your own hardware? Is that something you think about? Yeah, there, you know, there's definitely opportunity for that. You know, us being the first, um, you know, affordable, accessible water jet cutter, we have an opportunity to build a brand and a community around that and be the go-to solution for low-cost water jet cutting. And um, if parts of the machine get or technology get commoditized, there could still be an opportunity for us to add value and have a community, have a forum um, where people go to us to learn how to access this technology. Margin. How much? What's the cost of goods? Uh, so I can't tell you the exact cost of goods, but um, the... Do you make money on it? Yeah, we're making money on the hardware, for sure. Um, <laughs> you know, big water jets, you know, they're $100,000 to $1 million machines. They rely on specialty equipment. Um, you know, we've scaled it down, made a technology that's much more accessible to a broader audience. Any range? 10%, 50%? No. <laughs> um, ra rather not say, but... Um, like hand gestures or something? <laughs> you know, like numbers? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're, you know, we're, we're making money on the machines, um, for sure, no question about that. We also um, have opportunity to um, develop software to offer additional accessories. I'll save you. So yeah. when, uh, when do you think you'll actually hit the market with the product? I'm sorry? When do you think you'll actually get the, the, the product in people's homes? Like, what's the timeline Shipping. towards actually manufacturing? We'll be shipping in the fall of next year. Okay. What, one of the things that I assume if your competitors have $100,000 machines, there's not as many out there as you expect there will be of this machine. And so one of the exciting opportunities is that you can kind of grow the market for, for how, this use, how, how, how this product is used. But that also involves like an education component, like mm -hmm. helping people understand now there's this product out there that they never understood. How do you get that? How do you explain that to people? And how, how do you get people understanding how they can use it for uses in, in ways that they never thought that they could? Yeah, so, and that's why we've, we have partnered with a, a number of professionals. Um, so for instance, in um, you know, our video on Kickstarter and, and on the page, we're showing um, an, a jeweler cutting a necklace, a um, an artisan creating a knife blade, a, doing a tile mosaic, a piece of custom glass. Um, so we have a variety of examples that we're showing of things that like, we're aware of you couldn't cut in, in any other way or it would have taken a lot of time using hand tools. So we're trying to communicate that this is a machine that can cut through any material and that's really an advantage. There's no other digital tool like that that's available to individuals. All right, we are out of time, so just give it up for Wazer.